barbershop or the salon, you definitely feel like a million bucks. And I love helping people with that. My name is Tyler Dyes. I'm a barber at Lace Unisex Hair Salon. I've been cutting hair for about five years now, since I was a sophomore in high school. I love what I do. I love expressing myself. And I hope you guys can get to know me a little better. I've always had an entrepreneur mindset. From buying and selling clothes all throughout high school and, and after, I think that the mix between being an entrepreneur and being an artist has really helped me excel with being a barber. I knew early on in high school that I wanted to try cutting hair, and luckily I had some of my close buddies, you know, be, the, be my uh, guinea pig, but without them I wouldn't be here today, so thankfully they were there for me. I think that one of my biggest inspirations to become a barber started very early on with my love for art. All throughout schooling, I was always into art classes, always had an eye for fashion. As I got older, I you know, started dressing a lot nicer, putting outfits together. And as I got older, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my artistic abilities, but now I believe that I use them every single day with haircuts and being a perfectionist and having the eye for detail. I think that it really helps me when I do everyday haircuts, designs, everything like that. So art is definitely a huge inspiration for me every day as a barber. The quote, if you look good, you feel good, was definitely something I knew I had to implement once me and my buddy Hunter started making tie-dye cuts merch. I knew right off the bat that I wanted to create something that anyone could enjoy wearing. Definitely has to do with my fashion forward mindset. I didn't just want to turn people into a billboard and put my phone number on their back. So Hunter and I have come up with various designs. Uh, he does a lot of the graphic design work and everything. I just kind of have the ideas, but him and I put in plenty of hours making the shirts all ourselves. And we always just want to create something that someone can feel good in and just continue to be able to give that feeling to people, whether it be with fresh haircuts or fresh shirts. I believe that my strong work ethic started very early on, probably about the beginning of elementary school when my parents went through a divorce. I'd always see my dad working crazy hours, 60 plus hours a week, and he was always the biggest inspiration to me. So I took after him at a young age, I grew up quickly. That's definitely part of the reason why I don't mind working 50 plus hours a week, especially because I know it's going to get me to where I want to go and it's leading me to bigger and better things. A big adversity in my barber journey thus far has definitely been tackling my fear of public speaking head on. Every day, talking to new clients, trying to make a lasting impression when I meet new people. It's definitely been, you know, a challenge for me, but it's something that, you know, I definitely want to work on and I decided to try to tackle. Compared to other kids my age that are off at school partying or going on this vacation, that vacation, I'm either opening up the shop early, closing it late, you know, coming in on my days off, shooting videos, just this, that, and the third. In addition to all the hours that I put in at the shop, I always try to take continued education courses. Just about two weeks ago, I drove an hour and a half away to go and meet one of my barber idols. He lives over in the UK, so the chance is few and far in between to meet him. And I got to watch him cut, hear all about his process, and he actually got to walk me through a haircut when I was cutting a model. I always try to further my education and just learn as much as I can. I know it's gonna benefit me to the most. Another quote that I live by daily is by Casey Neistat. He states, do what you can. Any times in life when anyone has doubted me, I've always wanted to prove them wrong. And I think that that's why this quote just spoke directly to me. On the days that I think are a little bit more tough than others, I always think about my buddy Luke Tynan. Almost two years ago now, he was faced with a life altering accident. Ever since, throughout his recovery process, he has remained the most high-spirited person I have ever met. 
I've never seen someone handle such a traumatic situation with such positivity. On the days where I feel like I'm facing a little bit of trouble, I can really put them into perspective and think to myself that the hardships that I think I'm going through really aren't that big of a deal. Every single day, Luke is such a big inspiration to me. With all that being said, my journey as a barber has definitely been a process. It feels like it's been a long time now, but it's only beginning. It's crazy thinking back to cutting hair in the kitchen. I've come a long way since then, and all the amazing feedback and all the reviews and everything have been so humbling, and it's just, it's truly mind-boggling just to see how far I've come in what really is such a short amount of time. Being able to make people feel so positive about themselves really does radiate back to me makes me feel amazing for helping out others. To all my family members, to all my inspirations, to all my mentors so far throughout this journey, you are the reason why I'm here today and I cannot thank you enough for that.